Hey guys, e 2 here, and welcome to an awesome 10k hybrid skill squad builder. Now, this team here has got quite a few 5 star skillers in, I believe it's got 4 in total. And uh, yeah, it's going to be featuring in one of my upcoming uh, skill compilations. So, I have got a brand new one which I'm in the middle of editing. It's going to be even better than the last one, I'm getting a lot better at editing and uh, skilling. So, yeah, hopefully, you guys will enjoy that when it does come out. But uh, yeah, without further ado, let's go on into the team. Starting off in goal, we've got Trap. Uh, I'd not used him until I actually tried out this team, and he is awesome. He's got really good diving, good handling, decent kicking, and a really good reflexes and positioning too. And he's a great player for chemistry as well, linking between the Liga and the Bundesliga. However, in this team here, we're just going to be using the French Liga. Now, we start off in the left back position with Denisov, and this guy here never really gets a look in just because of his team and uh, nationality. Now, I've no idea what nationality that is. My geography teacher would probably be pretty annoyed with me for that. But, uh, yeah, I think he plays for Locomotive Moscow. And he's got some really nice stats. He's got 84 pace and a decent defending and physical as well. Really good player uh, in the left-back position. You can go up the wing and you can swing it. And, and he's always uh, just going to be there. Good and a de solid defensive player. First centre-back, we've got a player who's mainly here for chemistry. However, he is a pretty decent player and it is Bassa. Only 58 pace, not really the best. But he has got 81 defending and also good physical. And I believe he's six foot three as well, which is uh, always good. I think he had like a team of the season card on FIFA 14, which was actually really good. And I did pack that. That was one of the first special cards I actually packed on FIFA. But uh, yeah, fun fact there. He is a, a decent defender in the team. But next team, we've got a player who I used in my first ever FIFA 16 squad builder. It is Sane. And uh, yeah, he's a really, really good player. He's six foot two, I do believe. He's got 70 pace, 80 defending, 78 physical. And uh, yeah, for a very cheap uh, discard price centre back, you can't really get better than that. Right back position, we've got Van der Veel. Uh, you can use Aurier here. You can actually use any right back from the Liga. I decided to go with Van der Veel. I've not tried him out before. And uh, yeah, he's actually really good. He's got really nice, well balanced stats, over 70 and everything ex except shooting. Good passing, good dribbling, which is what you want on your right back so you can attack with them. Also, good pace, defending, and physical. Moving into what is a very, very attacking midfield, we start off in the left centre mid position with Basufa. He's got five star skills. I've used him in quite a few of my skill teams. And uh, yeah, he's a really, really awesome player. One of my favourite skillers on this game. Probably my favourite. I have scored a lot of really nice goals with him. Uh, not only uh, just skilling with him, but just generally he's very good at getting past players. And uh, also got a really good long shot as well. And uh, yeah, 80 pace, 82 passing, 84 dribbling. Real hidden gem. Uh, very few people use him because he does play in the Russian League. But a fantastic player. Definitely recommend you try him out. In the middle, I've decided to go with Bufal. Uh, another really, really good 5-star skiller. He's got 86 pace, 85 dribbling, and a decent shooting and passing as well. Again, he's got 5-star skills, and he's also, he has also got really, really good long shots. Uh, he's uh, scored some really nice goals for me. He actually scored a goal in the compilation that you're going to be seeing probably in a week or so. He did score a rainbow flick volley from uh, in the center circle, which is pretty cool. Uh, and to finish off the midfield, we go with a slightly more defensive player. Still not a very defensive midfielder. But uh, the more sort of well-rounded, well-balanced midfielder. That is going to be Matinho. Over 70 in every stat. Really nice passing and dribbling as well. And yeah, it's a really good midfield if you do like uh, passing and attacking play. Uh, if you're not really sort of a counter-attacker or something like that. If you do like passing it around and uh, having a lot of possession in your opposition's uh, last third. It's a really, really good team. Uh, this midfield really does uh, complement that. I'm moving to the strike force of this 10k team. We start off in the left mid position with Nani. And uh, yeah, he's a great player. Uh, one of the sort of main options there for the cheap Ronaldo, 5 star skills, really good pace, great passing, good dribbling, great shooting as well, and 5 star skills, and uh, yeah, he's the third 5 star skiller in the team, and he's a great player as well, for around 1k, for an 82 rated player with 5 star skills and those stats, you can't really ask for much more, great player, and he will score you some really nice goals, and uh, yeah, he has scored me some nice goals as well for me in uh, my latest compilation. Right wing position, I've decided to go with another 5 star skiller, and that is Koresma. First time using uh, both of these wingers here, and Quaresma was really, really nice uh, to use. He has got the uh, outside of the boot shot trait, and uh, yeah, if you didn't know, in real life, he does do uh, the outside of the foot shot a lot. The Traveller, he kind of invented it, uh, or perfected it at least. He also does quite a few, like, Rabonas and stuff in real life, one of the most skillful players in the world. And uh, yeah, in-game, you will see him pull off the outside of the boot shot a lot, and it does look really nice. It's a really nice way of finishing off a skill completion uh, if you don't really have, like, the time... Uh, to do maybe a fancy shot like a Rabona, he can uh, just like scoop it over the keeper with the outside of his boot and it does look really really cool and yeah he was great fun to use in the team as well he's got really good pace good shooting good passing and a good dribbling as well and we finish off the team with Robin Van Persie now this guy here he's not really going to get used by that many people because he plays in the Turkish League and even though the Turkish League is very good 
and I will actually have another squad builder quite soon featuring some Turkish League players, uh, in particular Schneider and Donk, that new high blink. I said I would bring that to you guys, and uh, yeah, I actually built the team, and uh, I will be trying it out uh, in the next couple of days and bring that video to you in the next few days. But uh, yeah, Van Persie is a great player, only 67 pace, but don't let that put you off. He's got 86 shooting, all of his finishing stats are over 80, really good long shots, great finishing the penalty area, 4 star skills, the flare trait as well, which is... Are very important if you are using a skill team you want a striker with that because that allows you to score scorpion kicks bicycle kicks and all those sort of really cool finishes that you want if you do cross it in from your wingers you can score some really nice kind of simple but very cool looking goals with your wingers if you uh, do the rabona cross by pressing lt and x uh, and then hold lt and uh, b for the shot you can score really really cool goals if you get the positioning of the cross right you can score scorpion kicks which looks so cool if you've not tried to score scorpion kicks, definitely try out, guys. I've only managed one this year, and I did score it from near the edge of the penalty area. It looked great, and uh, yeah, very, very cool sort of finish too. Probably the, the coolest one, there's that and the flying back heel, which are both extremely uh, rare kind of skills. They very rarely happen, but uh, yeah, they are really, really cool when you do manage to pull them off. And Van Persie, great shooting, great passing as well, 81. He'll be able to play it off to your wingers and midfielders a lot, which is what you want if you are using a skill team. Uh, we, when you do get those opportunities from a nice skill run, you want a player who's going to be able to finish it off, so someone like Van Persie, or who's going to be able to maybe play a quick one-two with your player who is doing the skills, so you can keep on with your skill run. Great dribbling as well, and I said four-star skills, so yeah, he's not really going to be left out when it does come to skilling. This team has got uh, in total four five-star skills and a four-star skiller, so you've got uh, Nani, Quaresma, Bufal, and uh, Basufa, some of the best five-star skills I've used on this game. And uh, yeah, hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, smash the like, subscribe if you're new, tell me what sort of team you want to see next in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, by the way, this is No Link Spacer Team. I'm trying to bring you guys more and more No Link Spacer Teams. But uh, yeah, without further ado, I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care.